As we approach a new year, winter's whispers are growing louder. But what if this winter brings something far more dramatic? Imagine waking up in February 2026 to find Europe in the grip of a sudden, severe, deep freeze. Cities from London to Berlin could grind to a halt under heavy snow. This isn't a disaster movie. Meteorologists are watching for signs of a major weather event that could upend daily life. The collapse of the polar vortex is a real possibility, unleashing Arctic air across the continent. We're not talking about a few frosty mornings, but a prolonged Siberian-like cold that could test our infrastructure and energy supplies. February is shaping up to be the month to watch, with global weather patterns raising red flags. Understanding the science behind the polar vortex and its impacts is key to being prepared. Let's dive into the forces at play and see why this winter could be one of the most talked about in decades. Are you ready to explore the possibility of a continent on ice? You've heard the term polar vortex, but what is it really? It's a vast area of low pressure and frigid air spinning high above the poles, acting as a fortress that locks in the cold. When strong, it keeps the jet stream stable and our winters mild. But if the vortex weakens, that fortress crumbles. The jet stream buckles, letting Arctic air surge south into Europe. This is what happens during a polar vortex collapse or sudden stratospheric warming event. The effects aren't instant. It can take days or weeks for the cold to reach us. By monitoring the polar vortex, scientists can give us early warnings of major cold outbreaks. The state of this icy crown truly shapes our winter. Understanding it helps us prepare for what's coming. The polar vortex is the key to Europe's winter fate. The beast from the east in early 2018 showed Europe just how disruptive a polar vortex collapse can be. A sudden stratospheric warming event sent Siberian air surging west, plunging temperatures and blanketing cities in snow. The UK saw its heaviest snowfall in years, with red weather warnings and major cities grinding to a halt. Travel chaos, closed schools and strained energy grids became the norm across the continent. Airports shut down, trains stopped, and roads became impassable. The event exposed how quickly extreme weather can disrupt modern life. It was a wake-up call for governments, businesses, and individuals. The 2018 cold wave is a benchmark for what a future polar vortex collapse could bring. As we look to winter 2025 to 26, the memory of the beast from the east reminds us to take forecasts seriously. The wobble of an atmospheric spinning top can unleash a true winter behemoth. Why is winter 2025-26 drawing so much attention? Meteorologists see several global climate drivers aligning to increase the risk of a weak polar vortex. The anticipated shift to a La Nina phase in the Pacific is a major factor. La Nina often leads to atmospheric blocking over the North Atlantic and Europe, opening the door for Arctic air to surge south. Another key player is the quasi-biennial oscillation, or QBO, a regular wind reversal high in the stratosphere. We're heading into an easterly QBO phase, which weakens the polar vortex. The combination of La Nina and an easterly QBO significantly raises the odds of a sudden stratospheric warming event. Major weather centers are already seeing hints of a colder, blockier pattern in their models. This winter isn't just another season. The signals are stronger than usual for a major atmospheric disruption. The stage is set for a potentially dramatic February. To understand the risk for February 2026, look to the tropical Pacific and the La Nina phenomenon. La Nina means cooler than average sea surface temperatures, which can shift global weather patterns. For Europe, La Nina often leads to blocking highs over the North Atlantic, diverting mild air and allowing Arctic cold to sweep in. Many of Europe's coldest winters have coincided with La Nina events. While not a guarantee, the correlation is strong enough to raise red flags for forecasters. 
La Nina doesn't directly cause the cold, but it sets the stage for the polar vortex's frigid air to move south. It primes the system for disruption and makes Europe more vulnerable to a deep freeze. As La Nina develops for winter 2025-26, the risk of a memorable February freeze grows. It's a global driver in the perfect storm scenario. High above, the quasi-biennial oscillation, or QBO, is another crucial factor. The QBO is a regular wind reversal in the tropical stratosphere, switching between easterly and westerly phases. When the QBO is easterly, as forecast for winter 2025-26, it weakens the polar vortex and makes sudden stratospheric warming events more likely. Think of the easterly QBO as a nudge that destabilizes the vortex. When combined with La Nina, the risk of a polar vortex collapse increases sharply. The QBO is a predictable wild card, giving forecasters another clue for long-range outlooks. Its upcoming easterly phase is a key reason why February 2026 could see a major cold outbreak. The stratosphere's wild card may be the final push for a true Arctic blast. If a polar vortex collapse hits in February 2026, Europe could face a dramatic, prolonged freeze. Daytime highs may struggle above freezing, with nights plunging to minus 10 or even minus 20 in some regions. Energy grids would be strained, risking blackouts as heating demand soars. Heavy snow could cripple transport. Airports closed, trains halted, roads impassable. Public health would be at risk, especially for the vulnerable, and hospitals could see a surge in cold-related cases. Wildlife would struggle, but ski resorts might thrive with abundant snow. The economic costs from disruption could be huge. Such an event would test our resilience and remind us of nature's power. Preparation is essential to weather the storm. Preparation is key for surviving a severe winter event. Service your heating system and insulate pipes to prevent freezing. Seal drafts and stock up on blankets, warm clothes and a reliable torch. Avoid non-essential travel during snow events. If you must drive, prepare your vehicle and pack a winter emergency kit. Check weather forecasts and traffic reports before heading out. Stock up on non-perishable food and medications to avoid unnecessary trips. Dress in layers and protect extremities when outside. Check on elderly or vulnerable neighbors and relatives. Community spirit is vital during challenging times. Stay informed with official weather updates. Keep a battery-powered radio handy in case of power cuts. Simple steps can make a big difference in staying safe and comfortable. Be ready to face the freeze with confidence. The signals for winter 2025-26 are compelling. A developing La Nina and easterly QBO raise the odds of a major cold outbreak. But forecasting is about probabilities, not certainties. The atmosphere is complex and unpredictable. A deep freeze could bring both beauty and disruption. Magical snowy landscapes for some, immense challenges for others. The coming months will be closely watched by meteorologists with forecasts refined as winter approaches. This discussion is a reminder of nature's power and the importance of preparation. What are your memories of past winter events? Do you love snow or dread the cold? Share your thoughts and tips in the comments below. Let's stay informed and connected as the story of winter 2025 to 26 unfolds. Whatever the weather brings, preparation is our best strategy. Stay safe, stay warm, and let's face the winter together.